So what I'm going to use next is some coffee that's completely evaporated. There were five milliliters of coffee in this and it's on day three, which means it's evaporated completely. So my brush is a little bit wet already and that's what's allowing me to pick up that dry pigment and reactivate it. This will let me add in those darker tones that I was trying to make by layering the wet coffee and being totally unsuccessful on. Um, it'll let, I'm defining around the eyes now and that's both adding in darkness right on the edge of the eye where the eyelashes would be and also along those uh, smile lines under and around the eyes. And I'll do the same thing down here on the edge of the nose and by the cheekbones and around the mouth. I'm going to go up also and darken around the line of the nose to show the shading on one side moving up into the eyebrow area. Uh, and then I'll use this also, this dark uh, dried pigment afterwards to make the eyebrows, but I have to really let everything dry around that area before I can add the eyebrows in. So for now, I'm putting it right around the eyes first to let that uh, get its shading and then dry in time for me to do some more detailing in that area afterwards. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of this uh, very condensed pigment and fix up my shading around the forehead and the edges of the face where I had tried to layer up coffee but that just didn't darken it at all um, and so I'm gonna try to make to fill in with the darker pigment and also to make it fade out a bit more smoothly um, and I'm really pleased by the effect actually I think this is coming along really nicely I thought maybe I'd have to wait a couple more days for the pigment to age and darken, but it looks like just taking from a container with less pigment is going to be good enough to get all the details of the whole face on. So I'll do, I'm going in and putting those smile lines back around the mouth, darkening them up quite a bit. And I'll have to also figure out how to do that bottom lip. The top lip is still a little bit wet from earlier today though, so. I'll have to let, wait till that dries, um, but the nostrils are ready for that darker pigment. Earlier I had really piled on the wet coffee hoping it would darken them up, but this darker pigment's working much better than that technique did. I'm gonna try it with that bottom lip. Um, the very corners of her mouth are really, really dark. And then uh, the edge of her bottom lip's a little bit darker than the middle, so I'll put that in. But I really want it to have sort of a smooth look to it. I like the way that when you use wet coffee, it collects on the edge, so I'm not sure if I can quite create it with this dry coffee, but I'm going to try. No, I'm going to just go ahead and use the wet coffee, and it might change the look of the top lip a bit. If I have to go over that again later, I will. Um, but I just need a little bit more smoothness to this look, so we'll see how much detail I can get right now. Alright, I went in and I pulled a bunch more pigment. I, you just saw me wet my brush before I went into that dry pigment, and that was just to be able to sort of reactivate it and get as much of that pigment as I can, because the eyes on this are going to need to be really, really dark. Um, as dark as I can make it. So I'm really putting lots of pigment there. And what's kind of nice about painting with coffee is that when you do make those dark, dark tones, if you layer up the coffee a bit, it'll keep a gloss. And I don't know if that's from the oils in the coffee or what it is, but her eyes are really going to sparkle in real life too. Even after this dries, the light will catch on them differently from on the skin because I'm really building up the amount of pigment there. So I'm excited to see how that goes. And now that our forehead is dry, I can also put in the eyebrows, which I'm trying to do one hair at a time. I always love to the look of eyebrows that are drawn that way, but it's kind of difficult in this particular medium. So they might be a little bit chunkier. That'll be okay. And then last, I gotta go back in with those ears too. They've got some areas where they kind of, they're kind of flat looking, or where the 
pool of coffee earlier left hollow areas where it's too light um, and so I can go in with this darker pigment um, and now I'm cleaning up the lips also it's dried enough that I can try to get rid of that sharp edge uh, from the wet coffee and when I've got that bottom lip all done I might even go back in and do the top lip over again later um, it just gets such a nice crisp edge if you make the whole thing wet at once. Uh, but I'm really liking the way this bottom lip is coming out and the sort of gloss at the very center, like there's light reflecting off of her smile. 